Hola, and do I have a story for you. Everybody has to do this now and then, and it's called take a shower. And there's nothing worse than having cold water. But is there something worse? There is. Hold on, you gotta look at this. I'm in the middle of my shower, and my handle falls off. So now, not only is this a project, but I've had one I've neglected for the last four days. So let me show you what I got going on with my front door here. Okay, so now we're down here at my front door. The door opens and shuts just fine and dandy. But you look at this little lock. See how easy that is? Now it is locking the door. But this little scenario happened to Terry and I two years ago in Georgia. And it was loose. And I just thought, okay, well, it's just really lubed up well or something. Well... We came back, I put the key in the door, and it did nothing. It didn't move. These handles aren't cheap, and if you take it apart, usually it's something small unless it's the metal itself is broken. Last time I took it apart, basically behind all this is a flat plate with two screws and then just a slide switch. And the only thing that happened was that got loose, and at that time, the bolt fell out, or the, the, the connecting bar fell out, and I was hosed. And also, I was thinking, I'm going to spend $100, and I happen to be at an RV store. Um, go figure. But, by taking it apart, I was able to fix it myself. And two years later, now it's come loose again. Hindsight, I think I should have put some kind of uh, uh, Loctite, but I didn't have any. And I don't have any now. But I'm going to show you what it takes to take this half off and just tighten it up. Now, if you're as high up as we are... You're going to want to get yourself a stool. If you're locked outside of it uh, when this happens, you're going to have to find a way in. But yeah. uh, this is not the scenario for us today. No, because we're ahead of this one. It's not going to happen again. <laughs> Something so. we did learn is that uh, we learned that we needed to secure our windows a little bit better, too, because we were able to get into our rig uh, the first time this happened. So, And I was fortunate we had a tall ladder in the yeah. back of the truck. <laughs> Basically, I have a, a rug down here, so if any of these screws fall out, I'm okay. Um, I don't have a way to hold this half open, but let's just see what's behind all this. Now, your door may be a little bit different uh, than ours. If you're new with us, we have a Big Country uh, by Heartland. What year is ours? Two? 2013. 2013 fifth wheel. So your handle may be different, but it might have the same type of mechanism inside. And if I remember right, by leaving this part in, only this front part's going to come off. It's been a while. Yeah, it's coming to go. I remember. I remember that day when that happened. It was so scary. And it was so we, hot. It was really hot. We uh, had no idea what to do, how to get into our rig. So, see look, see this plate? See how loose this plate is? That's all it is right here. That, and last time what happened, these screws got really loose and this wasn't connecting. There's a connecting bar behind it. So I'm not gonna pull it all back apart, but you could just see the plates all loose. And that's the scenario of what happened again. The screws just shake loose. Yep. So it's so ironic that we've had these screws do it and we had the shower handle break off. <laughs> I'm so glad it was you actually. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, Let's see if I... But this is just super easy. Anyone can do this. And I think before we put it back on, I'm going to clean this off a little bit. But yeah. Yeah, and look at these screws are kind of have like a, a weird angle to them so that you can't over tighten them. Oh. Okay. Now, Loctite would probably be good for this. If, I don't. If, if I had something like that. What is Loctite? Is it just a, uh, it's like a glue, glue or something? Yeah, okay. It's kind of something like that. All right. So, just remember if, if that starts getting loose, that's all it is this plate backing out. Now, last time I had to take it all off and re put the connecting bar that connects this to up here. And we're not going to take that apart because <laughs> no sense in doing something extra and having no. it possibly. Oh. Uh, mess up on us. Okay, now that's nice and tight. So let's, let's get this. So it could be just as simple as that. Something that you can fix yourself. Now you can see how much harder it is. Look at okay. And it locks. And you can hear it click. Yep. The one indication will be that you're not hearing it click anymore. 
Right. And, and we, we noticed that because, and luckily we were already familiar with what was going on. So that's a quick little lesson about how these things work here. Um, Terry will clean it up. I'll put it back on. And uh, hey, if you have five minutes, it didn't even take me that long. Just check it out before it's too late. Yeah, because if you're on the outside of it like we were, you may get locked out of your wrist. Or, or <laughs> I won't say who it was, sweet lady, uh, that locked herself inside her rig. And, and didn't you know, know how who to, you are. And didn't know how to get out. <laughs> All right, Scotty's going to go ahead and get that back on. I got it cleaned up as best as I could. I wanted to show you guys something, too, while we're standing at the door here. So if you have one of these... I don't know if you've ever noticed, it took me a while to figure it out. So here's the opening to your screen, right? If you push down, it opens it. You don't have to open this up. It's called a quick release. It's so that if you have stuff in your hand, you just hit it like that. Just another little thing that you learn in the RV world. <laughs> well, you know what? I wish I knew that a long time ago. I wouldn't have spilt so many adult beverages. <laughs> I'm always like this, trying to I use know. my foot. <laughs> or, your, or your butt. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad to get this taken care of. I kept spacing it. Because the end result was it was going to fall loose and then I would be up a crizzle. A what? Yeah, that's that's. I made that up. <laughs> Crizzle's like usually people say up a, a creek. But I added more to it because I'm usually not around a creek. I'm around a, a dry lake bed, river bed. <laughs> Grizzle. Uh, yeah, it's a drizzle of a grizzle dizzle. <laughs> oh, so nice. Yeah, let's just check it. Oh, yeah, you're hearing it locked now. Yeah. And it's not going to fall off in your hand and again be stuck in or stuck out. And you really would be uh, surprised how many people don't realize that they can fix this. We didn't yeah. know the first time. Nope. So don't feel, don't feel like you're, you're uh, but I would say have something down below because if you drop a screw, especially out here in the desert, and I do have to magnets find. to find stuff, but yeah. you don't want to, look at that, success, woohoo. Okay, now this one's a piece of cake, basically there's an Allen screw in there, uh, you just put it back on the way it go, that it came off, I have a towel down here because I don't want my Allen screw to go down into that drain. Because then I'll even have more things to do. And then I won't be able to take a shower. <laughs> and I want to take a shower. <laughs> so, just set it on. It seems simple for some people, but others it is not. So, for those You know what I think I'll do that I'll be really smart? I'll turn the freaking water off <laughs> and make it so I don't take another shower. <laughs> because that would happen. Right. Turn off electricity before you start messing with electricity. Turn, Turn off, off the water, water before you mess with water. I can't tell you how many times, you guys, I have been getting here cleaning, and I've hit that handle, and I've gotten a shower, whether I wanted one or not. And while we're in the shower, I'll answer a couple questions that we have had over the time that we've had this RV. People want to know, how do I keep my glass clean? Right there, you guys, a squeegee. Every time we get out of the shower, we squeegee it. And I use Windex or some kind of a window spray and do the outside of it every single time. So I know it can be a pain in the rear to do that, but that's why I have nice clean glass. I only like <laughs> it You just got out time. of there, I know. I know. But I'm getting in there. So normally what will happen is if I take a shower first, I say, Scotty, are you going to take a shower? If he says yes, then I don't worry about it. He gets in here. But I, in Arizona, I would not leave um, water on your windows too long. You will get a buildup on it. And I, we also squeegee the uh, sides. Much nicer. There you go. So it's just... An Allen wrench screw right there. And there. Okay, so it's just one screw. Yep. And it's that simple for you guys right. that may not know that. Right. And that didn't give me no sign of being loose or anything. It just fell off from the ground, and I'm fortunate that it was cold water. Yeah. One okay. other thing that I'll tell you since we're in the shower, we're not usually I'll in the, get shower out of the shower with you though. guys. When we travel, we put everything down that could fall. These things will stay. These things never fall down. These are just 3Ms, 3M uh, 
you know, hooks. These have been up there for a long time. They're not coming down. This, however, comes down and this goes into our laundry hamper or on the floor because if these come down, they will put dents in your shower. And so this goes down too. And that, that, that sprayer could honestly break the glass. Yeah. It could. I don't know what I would do yeah. about if I broke this glass. Something that the original owners or the owners before us did, they put a little, uh, what is that felt felt, yeah. felt tab there so that when it hits there yeah. they don't break their shower and then you always want to lock it when you're in travel mode I know it's hot out but really <laughs> uh. she's hot <laughs> are you hot <laughs> are you a little hot dog <laughs> it is warm Hey, thanks guys for spending your uh, 12 minutes, 15 seconds with me today as we, uh, Terry and I, fixed a few things in the house. Uh, the shower thing was unexpected, obviously, but the door um, lock, important because it does happen on these rigs and they are expensive. Anyways, I just want to say thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, thumbs up. That's just a bam. I mean, bam, that's all you have to do. And leave a comment. I always love hearing from you. Until next video, peace out, be good to each other, love ya, bye!